What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Booster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in. They gave us 100 quarters. Super, super expensive game today. Anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can win the jackpot. My goodness, they got this thing stacked up extremely good. Looks like the world's largest wall in there today. The bottom layer, those are one ounce gold bars. Middle layer, those are $5,000 chips. And the top layer, $10,000 chips. And there's all kinds of towers on the blue shelves. Y'all may not be able to see those. But you'll see them later on whenever that wall falls down. And they got two $25,000 chip towers in the back. And again, I don't think y'all going to be able to see those until that wall falls down. And there's two gold towers on the corners and two blue mystery bags. Oh, and there's six white dice in there today. So we definitely have the potential to make some big money, that's for sure. Anyhow, let's go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMB coin pressure sure has returned. Let's keep it pushing. So we got about 270 quarters back. Oh, nice. We got that gold tower on the right side. And we got that blue mystery bag. That is absolutely spectacular. And we're about to get that one on the left-hand side also. That is amazing. Now, this is pushing incredibly well today. Oh, yeah, nice. We got that gold tower on the left. But unfortunately, that mystery bag got stuck against the glass. I think we just need some quarters to fall down on top of it. Well, anyhow, that loot chute's getting pretty piled up, so let me try to get it cleared out real quick. We'll be right back. Alrighty, a and Coin Pusher has returned. Let's keep it going. So we got that loot chute cleared out. There was like a gold bar or something blocking everything from falling down. About to get a bunch of $25,000 chips. Nice, there we go. This is pushing really well today. Yeah, I'd say once that layer of gold slides out from underneath of that wall, that wall will crash down. That's normally how it goes. Come on, big money. Yeah, we really, really need that mystery bag on the left side to go. Super, super close. We already got one of them mystery bags. Oh, and I forgot to point that out. There's a humongous tower of $5,000 chips back there on the pusher. Y'all may be able to see the $10,000 chips on top of it. Not sure. It's just hard to get everything in the video, in the screen. All right, well, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let me go collect the quarters real quick. We'll get right back to pushing. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So we made a tremendous amount of money in gold on that last round. And we've won a blue mystery bag so far. About to get a bunch more $25,000 chips on that right-hand side. Yeah, those $25,000 chips add up really quick. I think we've already got close to a million dollars million dollars in chips. That is absolutely phenomenal. Well, keep in mind we do got to win $10 million to break even. So, might take a little while, but it'll definitely be worth it once we get it all cleared out of there. Alright, well that right there was the last of our quarters, so let me go collect the quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alright, a and Coin Busher has returned. Let's keep it going. So we don't really have that many quarters left. We only got like, let's say, 70 of them left in the bowl. Yeah, we really, really need that blue mystery bag on the left side to fall down. Well, all the chips that are around that mystery bag, they're going. Now, I'm surprised that wall hasn't crashed down yet. It's lost a bunch of gold. Nice, we got that blue mystery bag, sweet. So I tell you what, since we're running low on quarters, let's go ahead and open up both of them mystery bags because 
might be something good and valuable in there. We'll see. All right, here they are. So let's go ahead and start with this mystery bag right here. Let's see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Oh yeah, nice. Check that out. So we got a gold dice. If you don't know what that's for, we get to roll it at the end of the game. Whatever it lands on, my gold will multiply by that number. And we also won the $5 chip. And if you don't know what that's for, we get to cash this in. They will move all those towers that are back there on the blue shelves to the play field. Y'all probably can't see those towers at the moment because that big old wall blocking the view. But that's, that's amazing. And we also won two $1 chips. So each one of these is worth 500 quarters. So if I cash both of these in, they'll give me an extra 1,000 quarters. So I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do after we open up that other mystery bag. That is absolutely incredible. Now that, that was a lifesaver right there. Alright, so now let's open this mystery bag. This one feels a lot heavier than the other one. Let's see. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got a copper coin. I think these are worth about $10 a piece. We got a Bitcoin. The Bitcoins, they have no cash value. They're just entries into a free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. And we got another gold dice and the $50 chip. And if you don't know what that's for, we get cashed in at the end of the game. They will take any money or gold or dice that falls down those side slots, put them back into the play field. So that is absolutely incredible. And last but not least, we got two more $25,000 chips. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Those mystery bags is loaded up extremely well. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in both of these $1 chips and they will give me an extra thousand quarters. I'll be right back. Alright, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in both of them $1 chips. They gave me an extra thousand quarters. So I think it's safe to rapid fire now. I'd say once that humongous tower of $10,000 chips back there on the pusher falls down, it will destroy that wall. Yeah, we just need all that gold to slide out from underneath of it. That's the only thing holding it up. Well, we're getting tons of quarters back, but... Towers ain't really moving too good at the moment. So I hope everybody's doing good and having an awesome day so far. Remember, if you're new around here and you enjoy the content, do me a favor. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a video. Would help out a lot. We're on the road to 115,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the 1st of June, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, let's try to get let's try to get 4,000 likes on today's video. 4,000 likes. I know we can do that. Just need everyone watching to hit that like button. And if you want to help me take down this wall. Leave a thumbs up on the video. Come on, hit that like button, everybody. Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah, my prediction was correct. That humongous tower, $5,000 chips fell down and it completely demolished that wall. Well, anyhow, that loot chute, it's severely clogged up. I'd say once I get that loot chute cleared out, it's going to be a waterfall of all that. All those five and $10,000 chips. Oh, yeah, that's the waterfall we was waiting on. Nice. Nice. That is awesome sauce right there. Absolutely brilliant game so far. Outstanding avalanche for sure. Well, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let me go see what I've won. We'll get right back to pushing. 
Oh my goodness, nice, it's still going. Wow. Alrighty, A and B coin pressure has returned. Let's keep it going. So we made a tremendous amount of money on that last round. We got a truckload of gold and a boatload of quarters. This is pushing incredibly well today. Like, look at that. Look at all those five and ten thousand dollar chips we're winning. We're making hundreds of thousands of dollars every single push. This is just insane. Well, I'd say we're pretty close to halfway to making that $10 million back. And also, I don't think I pointed this out yet. Well, I think I said there was six white dice in there earlier. Y'all can definitely see them now. They're on top of those $1,000 chip towers. You get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by that number. So, say I win eight million dollars back in chips and all six of those dice combined end up multiplying my winnings by say 30 30 times eight million dollars you do the math that's what we would win so we definitely have the potential to make some huge profits today and a lot of it depends on what the dice land on. Say all six of those white dice landed on a one, then I wouldn't get to multiply anything at all. As I've said many times before, the ones do not count. The house wins on that number. My goodness, this is pushing really well. We almost got it all cleared out of there. And that loot chute's getting clogged up again. I think what happens, there's like a gold bar that likes to be a little bit stubborn and it'll get stuck in there and it'll just start a traffic jam and everything that falls down behind it like chips, quarters, it'll just continue to pile up. Well, anyhow, let's finish out this bowl of quarters and after that I will cash in that $5 chip. And they will move all those towers that are on the blue shelves to the play field. And there's three ways we could win those towers on the blue shelves. Well, today we got that $5 chip, so we can cash that in. They would move the towers to the field. But the other two ways, we could stack the quarters up pretty high. Back there on the pusher and try to trick shot those towers into the play field. Which I don't think that would work out too well today because there's no towers that are hanging over that blue shelf onto the pusher, so I don't think it's possible to trick shot any of them into the play field. And the other way I could win those towers, say if that $5 chip was not in there, I would have to pay five times the original buy-in for them to move all them towers to the play field. So for example, today, Say today there wasn't that $5 chip in there, it would end up costing me $60 million to play this game. I don't know if there's enough in there to make $60 million back. So, luckily we got that $5 chip. Luckily we got that $5 chip though. So anyhow, let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick and I will go ahead and cash in that $5 chip, have them move all them towers to the play field. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They moved all those towers that was on the blue shelves to the play field. Looks like they combined all those towers into like one ginormous tower back there on the pusher. So wish me good luck. Hopefully we can get it all cleared out of there now. Recently, they've been stacking the towers up pretty tall back there on the pusher. Then we'll end up losing a bunch of stuff to the blue shelves. But today they combined everything into one big old tower. So I think the odds of us losing anything to the blue shelves today are pretty slim. Pretty slim chance of that happening anyhow. Oh yeah, tower's already getting pretty close to crashing down. Nice, just lost a $10,000 chip at the base of it. That's incredible. 
And also, if you're wondering why they did not move those chips that are against the walls to the play field whenever I cashed in that $5 chip, because those chips are for decoration only. The only way we could win those is if we trick shot them into the play field using the quarters. And if we did win those chips, they would count those as a win. Whatever the cash value of the chip is. But on the other hand, if we were to trick shot those tiny dice that are on top of those chips into the play field and win them, I would have to give those back to them. Because those aren't the dice that we get to roll at the end of the game. Those have no value at all. Oh yeah, jackpot baby. Nice. Wow, that was absolutely remarkable right there. That was insane. That was a massive avalanche for sure. And it looks like they put all those dice inside that ginormous tower. I can see one of them. So I can only imagine the other five would be in there somewhere. Yep, I see another one right there. Don't know if y'all can see it or not. Oh yeah, I see three more. Oh yeah, now y'all can see it. Alright, well that loot shoot's starting to bowl over again. Let's get it cleared out real quick. Alright, I'm back. So we got that loot shoot cleared out. Let's keep it pushing. Oh yeah, we're about to get a bunch of $10,000 chips. Nice, that was like half a million dollars or more right there. Oh yeah, I got a bunch more $10,000 chips and a dice. Sweet. Oh yeah, it won't be long, we'll have it all cleared out of there. Let's see if we can get it all cleared out of there with the remaining uh, 20 quarters that we got, something around that. Oh yeah, now we need to focus on that left hand side. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely incredible. So now, I'm going to go ahead and cash in that $50 chip, and they will take any money or gold or dice that's falling down those side slots, put them back into the play field somewhere. They may build a brand new tower back there on the pusher, or they may just, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't get a pick where they move the chips or the towers. So let me call him back here real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took all those chips and gold that we lost, put them back into the play field. Goodness gracious, looks like we lost over a half a million dollars to the side slots today. So we'd have missed out on a boatload of money if it wasn't for that $50 chip. Let's keep in mind we won six white dice and those will multiply our winnings at the end of the game. So, for example, all those white dice land on, let's say, all those white dice combined end up multiplying my winnings by 30. And say that's half a million dollars right there, 30 times half a million. You do the math. How much we'd have missed out on. Well, it's pushing pretty good so far. Yeah, we lost a ton of $25,000 chips to the side slots today. Oh, yeah, that was a good push right there. Second wave. Oh, yeah, that's where all the big money's at. All those $25,000 chips. And I know it looks like I win all the time. That's because I only post the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I mean, I've tried posting the losing videos in the past, and y'all didn't seem to like those too well. And I try to keep the channel as positive as possible. So that's why I stick to posting the winning games. But anyhow, I probably win one out of every three or four games I play. So I definitely don't win as much as it seems. And anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there now, so now I'm going to call them back here. We won seven dice in total, six white dice and one gold dice. They will put all them dice back there on the pusher. Got to roll them on down to lower shelf. Whatever they land on, get to multiply our winnings and their gold by that amount. So let me call them back here real quick, and I'll be right back. 
Alright, AMV Coin Pusher has their turn. Let's keep it pushing. So I called them back here. They put all eight of those dice back there on the pusher. Well, I miscounted earlier. I said there was seven dice in total. But we got two gold dice and six white dice. So let's push them dice on down to the lower shelf. Hopefully they land on some huge numbers. Oh, nice. We got two, a two, and a six, and a four, and a five, and another two. So that one on the left side, that one doesn't count. And we got a six. So that's not bad, not bad at all. I'll take it. Like I said, that one does not count. We don't win on the ones. We went on everything from two to six. So I'm gonna count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $10 million buy-in. I'll be right back. You all are not gonna believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely incredible. I ended up winning $9,174,000 in chips. And all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 18. And in total, I ended up winning $165,132,000 from a $10 million buy. And that is absolutely exceptional. That's another huge life-changing win right there. Absolutely mind-blowing. And on top of that, we won 142 ounces of gold. And both of those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 9. And in total, I ended up winning 1,278 ounces of gold today. And those are around $2,000 a piece. So that is absolutely incredible. And we also got one Bitcoin, so that's one entry into the free $100,000 buying giveaway. And last but not least, we got one copper coin, so that's, I guess those are worth about $10 a piece. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.